Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1136th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni, and that would be me. Good evening, traders. These videos are geared to teach you the art of technical analysis, which should, I hope, make you a better analyst, and that in turn should make you a better trader. We know that future trading is extremely risky, especially these days with the volatility gone wild and can cause extreme damage to your financial health. Futures trading is not suitable for all trading accounts. If you do not recognize that a stop can be your best friend in this industry, and big stops are required these days, you shouldn't be trading these markets. For you cowboys out there that can deal with the volatility, rock and roll, and let's get ready to go. Traders, on this evening, I am filming a video for trading on Tuesday, that's February 11, 2014. We've got a green omni. We've got daily charts that are wildly bullish in the e mini s and in the NASDAQ, in the tranny, in the Dow. But, is there a fungus among us? Is there a problem building? Traders, I've been doing this for 32 years. I've been extremely bullish this market for quite some time. I have found myself almost every day in my chat room speaking to my Omniac, saying to them, you know, I've been doing this a long time. And for whatever reason, it acts like a bear market but puts bullish numbers up at the end of the day. And then other times I'll say to them, you know, I've been doing this a long time, and for whatever reason, it's acting like a bull market, but it puts bearish numbers up at the end of the day, and vice versa. And I'm thinking, that's just not the bull market that we've been in for the last few years. So I've been doing a lot of research on that market, and I've got something to show you. Now, let me start off again. Tuesday, very bullish, Green Omni, wild, wildly bullish charts on the dailies. But I think that as time passes here, we may have a fungus among us. Traders, if you like what you're about to see, come on down to livewithoscar.com. Come into my free trading room where I give you live trading recommendations and I run those for you as the market moves from the moment it opens until it closes. I'll see you at livewithoscar.com. With no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Traders, Dow Jones Industrial Average Daily Bar, you've seen this one before. I showed this to you the day before the turnaround and said, that's it. We're in for a turnaround. We got the turnaround. Daily chart looks great on the Dow Jones Industrial Average, right? What a great hold, great looking chart. Another view, Dow Jones Industrial Average, it holds the 200 bar moving average. Looks great, right? Let's continue looking at these charts. E-mini S&P, what more could you ask for? Holds Otatma, holds Otatma, holds Otatma, gets back above the red line. What more could you ask for, right? These are wildly bullish looking charts for trading on Tuesday. And then there's the NASDAQ. Look at how bullish comes down to Otatma, this red line, holds, comes back, red line, Otatma, holds. If you look further, you'll find that he held it back there even further. Really bullish looking, right? How could you not love this market? And we continue. We go, okay, look at the transportation average. It got above this major support line. What was resistance? Then it becomes support, bounces off, holds Otapma, holds Otapma, holds Otapma, holds Otapma, and holds Otapma. That's the Omni Trading Academy's proprietary moving average. We call that Otapma, right? So, how could you not love these markets? I'm in love with them. How could you not be? But I'm a guy that likes to do his homework completely. And then I started to look around, and this is tonight's masterpiece chart. This is something that you should pay attention to. This is a good lesson from Uncle Oscar, so pay attention. You ready? Here's how market structure works. A good bull market. You rally, you pull back, but you never go as low as the previous pullback. So we rally, we pull back. See how this low, this line is above it. We rally, we pull back, but the pullback doesn't reach this one. We rally to stage four, right? So we rally up from three to four, a little pullback, but it never goes back to three. We rally up to stage five, a pullback, but it never goes as low as four, a little tight, but doesn't go as low as four. Good bull market. We rally up again, we pull back. Five, six, we keep rallying, right? The previous low, higher, 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 
the same but didn't go lower, higher, boom, number eight. Problem, we just took out the previous dip. You're not supposed to take out the previous dip in a strong, healthy market. It's okay to even get even like that. You're not supposed to take it out. That, my friends, is a problem. Look at each time. Pull back okay. You never broke the line before it. Never broke, never broke, never broke, never broke. Boom. You broke the line before it and went down. I don't like that. Next, look at the e and the S&P. The very same charts I showed you that look wildly bullish. Look at them now. Here's a shoulder. Here's a head. I say we're coming up to do another rounded shoulder. The only thing that would convince me that's not going to happen next, that we're not just going to come up here and fill this in and start a big dump, is if we take out these highs and relatively quickly. If we do not take out these highs very quickly, this is what's coming next. I have shown this to you many times before. I smell a rat. Let's see. I hope I'm wrong. Then there's the NASDAQ. That chart looked fantastic a few moments ago. Look at it again. Shoulder, head, shoulder developing. You are right now almost at the exact high of the previous shoulder. I don't think it goes much higher. I think it starts to develop a downward shoulder here. But what do I know, right? I'm only showing you what I think is going to come next on the chart. I'm these bullish for Tuesday. It might be bullish for Wednesday. It might be bullish for Thursday. We could be here by Friday. All of this is negated and it's meaningless, right? So I don't know that this is going to work. I am showing you that you better start to pay attention to something. I've been doing this for 32 years. This is not my first day on the job. Then there's the Russell. There's nothing good I can show you about the Russell. It's got a bear flag on the daily. It's underneath Otapma. It broke Otapma. It never got back. And here's the thing. The Russell literally has been the leader of our move for the last six months. The Russell and the DAX have been leading the U.S. indices for the past few months. The Russell is not showing me anything impressive on the daily. Then we go out to a weekly on the Russell. And I'll tell you what, even less impressive. Look what you did here. You held, you held, you held, you held, but you broke. Now we're underneath it. Long, long-term trend line. I am not saying that the top of the market is in by any means. I am saying let's all pay attention to the possibility of a pullback here, a big one. Then there's the daily DAX. Look, on the daily, I've got nothing good to show you here. We broke this major channel. We're under it still. At this moment, I have nothing good to show you. That could change by tomorrow, but right now, nothing good to show you. In the weekly DAX, we were in this really nice channel. We were also in this really nice channel for a long, long time. We morphed up into this channel. Well, since then, we've broken out of that channel, and I think this is your target. If the DAX and the Russell have been our leaders, and the both of those look more bearish than anything else I've shown you, we need to pay attention. Now, if the market is really bullish, and we are going to continue to blast off, why is gold getting bullish? It's not supposed to. This is what's supposed to happen if the ES stays bullish. Not this. We've been in this channel. It held down here. It held up here. It held down here. It held down here. It held up here. We messed around for a while, but we've gotten above the channel. That's on gold's daily. Then you spread this thing out a little bit. You step out to a weekly in gold. And look at this. This goes way, way back. Now, granted, I don't think gold is going into a new bull market. I think it's got a little bit of a rally coming. Because this shows you that gold is over, right? It made a big plateau. Then it came down and broke the 200 bar moving average and continued on down. That's a broken bull market that we knew. It stayed inside of this channel for a long, long time. I've been showing you this chart for months on end. It stayed inside this channel every single time it hit the black channel. It was held in check every time. Not this time. Look, out, it broke out. So gold is getting bullish. Why would gold be getting bullish if the S&P is going to continue to go up? It shouldn't, to be honest. Then there's the dollar index. Why is gold getting bullish? Because the dollar index broke Otatma. It's now built the right shoulder of the head and shoulders. And if you ask me... This is a big flag, a big bear flag in the right shoulder of a monstrous head and shoulders in the dollar. If dollar goes down, I don't think that's quite bullish for the stock market at this point in time and certainly would be bullish for gold. Traders, pull your own charts, do your own homework. I hope you like what you just seen. 
I do happen to have one open seat for my Omnicab. It's a seat I haven't offered really to anybody yet. If you would like to come out and join me at the end of this month and study these charts with me, it's a four-day training session. Come on down to livewithoscar.com and let me know you'd like to take that final seat. Omnicamp literally is the place where I hold back on nothing. I teach you all the techniques I've ever learned. I teach you all the great tips and tricks the floor traders taught me in my 32 years coming up. Omnicamp is your chance to come to Las Vegas and study with me, Oscar Carboni, for four straight days. And I want to make sure you leave with the knowledge and confidence that you can carry out these techniques yourself. If you feel ready, if you feel like you can come on down to Vegas and study with me for four days, come on down to livewithoscar.com and simply click the Omnicamp banner and fill out the application. Traders, there's my technical argument for why, yeah, bullish green Omni gone crazy, but is there a fungus among us? And it's this way because I want you to remember it this way. Fungus among us, all right? So remember it that way. Is there a fungus among us? Because I think there's going to be something coming our way. Now, I have no reason at this moment in time to tell you that we're not in a big booming bull market and we're not going to go for new highs and you've got to buy the dips because as of Monday night for Tuesday, that is exactly what's going on. This, what I showed you, is for a little bit of time out there because it would take some time to create that right shoulder. If you've got a shoulder and a head, and you've got to create the other shoulder, you need a little time, right? So we could go up, we could mess around for weeks, but if that's what happens, the next big move will be a big down one. So, again, we're bullish, we're buying, we're in a big booming bull market, and that's the way it works. But this is something to keep in mind, okay? Is there a fungus? among us. You keep that in mind. All right, traders, please come on down to livewithoscar.com. Hang out with me during the day. These markets are insane. I don't mind the company. The chat room is free. I will see you at livewithoscar.com. Remember, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Rock and roll traders and take a look at that chart because I think that is the chart of the evening. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.